Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is close to my heart and touches on something deeply ingrained in our society, the concept of masculinity in India. I'm a 23-year-old man who has navigated the challenges of growing up in an environment where traditional norms often clash with modern ideas. Stick around as we unpack my journey and explore what it really means to be a man in today's world. Let me take you back to where it all started. I was born in a bustling Indian city to parents who worked hard in government jobs. They were modern thinkers, but not without their flaws, often caught in the typical spousal disputes. Despite my serious congenital heart issues, which led to multiple surgeries throughout my childhood, they raised me with an open heart and open mind. They let me cry, let me fail, and most importantly, they taught me to respect everyone equally, regardless of gender. My nickname at home? It's traditionally given to girls, and yes, I love adding a bit of color to my life with nail polish. Why should girls have all the fun, right? As I grew, the world outside my family began to weigh in. From the earliest days in school, being different wasn't just noticeable, it was a target. Being picked up by my parents, speaking fluent English, and preferring the beauty of a garden to the roar of a bike engine made me the other among my peers. Boys would throw harsh words, calling me girly or questioning my sexuality, as if my interests defined my identity. Each word was meant to chip away at my confidence, yet it sparked a fire in me to question, why are we so threatened by someone who simply doesn't fit the mold? Entering college brought new challenges. I chose a healthcare course, passionate about learning how to care for others. Here, even my hygiene habits became a battleground. Imagine being laughed at for washing your hands or eating with a spoon out of a pink lunchbox, my favorite color, by the way. It didn't stop at ridicule. Some classmates resorted to taking inappropriate photos at social events, mocking me for not joining their disturbing actions. It was then I realized the crisis we face, a distorted sense of what it means to be a man rooted in dominance and disrespect. All these incidents taught me valuable lessons about courage and integrity. It's not about fitting into a preconceived box of masculinity, but about breaking those walls down. We need to embrace a masculinity that includes being empathetic, respectful, and authentic. My experiences are not just anecdotes. They are a call to action for all of us to examine how we perpetuate these stereotypes and how we can dismantle them. I've shared my story, but this conversation is far from over. What are your experiences with masculinity? Do you see similar patterns or do you have different stories to tell? Drop your thoughts and stories in the comments below. Let's challenge the norms together. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you don't miss any of our discussions. Together, let's redefine strength, not as power over, but as power with. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on the channel.